Well, the Calgary Parking Authority has a rather unique and interesting role in the City of Calgary in that we manage all of the on-street parking for the city and we manage about 20% of the off-street parking for the city as well. We also provide parking management services for a number of different organizations within the city like the Calgary Zoo, uh, the TELUS Spark Building and Heritage Park. We manage all of the parking enforcement operations on behalf of the city. We also manage the impound lot so in the unlikely event that your car ever gets towed, uh, you're actually coming down and having a conversation with us. There's a, a number of misconceptions that we're trying to dispel on a pretty much a daily basis. First of all, the CPA does not receive any taxpayer funding in any way, shape or form. 100% of our expenses are covered by operating revenue that we receive by managing parking operations. I think more importantly though, every year we generate a, a surplus uh, of revenue over expenses that is then returned uh, to the City of Calgary to help reduce the tax base for ordinary Calgarians and that money is used for such things as road repairs, sports facilities, arenas, parks, you name it. And I think it's a real valuable role that we play in the community. It's no surprise to anybody watching this that 2016 was a real challenging year for the city and for most businesses in the city. The CPA was no different. We had to uh, make some real uh, strong adjustments to both our revenue stream and maintain costs such that we were able to continue our dividend to the City of Calgary. And we did that a little bit differently than most companies do in that we engaged uh, our leadership team and our frontline staff in creating a bunch of new ideas about how we could increase revenue or reduce expenses. All told, over 50 projects were identified and those 50 projects resulted in about $7 million of either revenue generation or cost savings that resulted in us being able to uh, achieve our dividend to the City of Calgary. So it was very important to us as an organization to evaluate all of the different initiatives that we undertook in 2016 to either enhance revenue or, or save uh, on costs uh, based on a triple bottom line approach. First, any initiative that we undertook had to make customer service better. Second, it had to achieve uh, stronger communities. And third, it had to provide a positive net return on the bottom line. So if an initiative failed on one of those three criteria, we did not undertake it. And to say that at the end of the day, over 50 different projects were initiated that met all three of those criteria, I think is a real testament to the creativity of our organization. Personally, I think it's very, very important for our organization to be seen as and actively contributing in the community on a daily basis. So we start off with an initiative that we call CPA Gives. It's an employee-led, employee-driven uh, approach that allows us to focus our charitable giving on eight different organizations uh, selected by employees in the community. And in 2016, we gave a little over $20,000 of employee-raised funds to these eight different charities. Second, we have the uh, CPA Day of Giving. So every employee of the organization is allowed to take a day off with pay anytime during the course of the year to volunteer at the charity of their choice. We really demonstrate their, our community involvement and we get, get some great feedback from that as well. And finally, we support other charities over the course of the year. For example, during uh, the year we had a, a massive stampede breakfast on the sidewalk right behind me where over a thousand people attended and the chief beneficiary was the uh, Calgary Homeless Foundation and was very well received as well. 2016 was a key year for us in terms of implementing a number of new initiatives that made the CPA a better place. First of all, we were able to enhance our My Parking app, both on iOS and on the Android platform, which really uh, enhances the service level that we're able to provide to people using our system. Second, we completed and launched a new parkade in Kensington at the Lido um, condo complex, uh, which really impacts the availability of public parking in the Kensington area. Third, we expanded our paid public parking initiatives to Heritage Park, which has had a tremendous impact both on people using the service and on Heritage Park's ability to generate new sources of revenue. And finally, and I think most importantly, we were able to deliver on our budgeted commitments to the City of Calgary over the course of the year, which really helps all Calgarians at the end of the day by virtue of our really effective management of costs and generating new sources of revenue during the year. One of the other really cool things that we did as an organization this year was get out in front of what's happening in the environment and supporting some environmental initiatives. So we've installed EV chargers at all of our uh, parkades, so, and they're great, they're level two chargers, uh, which is really what the EV community has been asking for and allows us to be really proactive in, in meeting some of the needs of our, of our customers. 
We have three primary areas of focus in 2017. One is focusing on revenue generation and cost savings so that we can again deliver on our budgeted dividend to the City of Calgary. Second, we'll be continuing to sell and market Park Plus both in Alberta, Canada and around the world. Uh, our technology platform is second to none and it's still world class. And third, in order to protect that world-class nature of our technology, we'll be making significant investments in what we're doing this year. So we'll be rolling out some really cool um, enhancements to our system that we'll be telling Calgarians about a little later on in the course of the year. So as we continue through 2017 and beyond, it's important for Calgarians to remember that we're focused on revenue generating and cost savings wherever possible. It's our intent to continue to deliver uh, the revenue stream that the City of Calgary requires to manage their operations while at the same time and perhaps most importantly focusing on exceptional customer service and exceptional parking experiences for all of our customers on a day-to-day -day basis.